Right, good evening everyone. So we're back to uh, play a bit of Age of Empires Definitive Edition. We're on the Imperium Romanum campaign. Uh, but before we get started, we just need to do a quick update on our follower goal. So let me just have a quick look here, see where we're currently at since the last stream. Right, okay. Let's just update this. Alright, there we go, so we're at 126 followers. Still got 28 days to go, and we just need another 74 followers to hit our target. So if you guys could smash out the follow button, that would be greatly appreciated. But right, let's, uh, let's get straight into the game, shall we? As the 3rd century crisis drags on, the weaknesses in the overextended Roman Empire become more and more evident. The Alemanni Confederation threatens the northern portion of Italia, and the Gitae have invaded the Balkans. The Palmyrans, once loyal allies, have rebelled under the leadership of Septimia Zenobia and seized most of our eastern provinces. Defend the northern frontiers of the empire, Emperor Aurelian, while destroying the Palmyrans and restoring the eastern provinces to Roman control. Right, so the objectives on this one, we need to defeat the Palmyrians and none of our town centers may be destroyed. So let's take a quick look at the hints. So each of our town centres could come under attack at any time. Be prepared to establish a strong defence around each one. Targeting the weak link in the enemy forces will slow their attacks considerably. I cannot construct new town centres, so protect the ones I already have. And it is not necessary to destroy all your enemies to win. Defeating Queen Zenobia is enough. Right, okay, let's jump in. There's no controls, right, okay. Right, what I kind of want to do. Is uh, box them in a little bit, if I'm being honest. So I've got a town centre there. Got another one there, so. Yeah, I just block that in. And the third one over here. So I reckon if we just box um, that in there. Box um, it in over there. Sorry about that. JLC Gaming, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Hope you're doing well today. Alamas. 
Bombes. 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 Right, so I'm going to build some t more towers. As soon as we've got enough meat, we'll, uh, more food, we'll build another one there. Okay, we need some more towers in here as well. I've got no idea where they're going to come from. Right, so that's enough for now. Where are we uh, we're attacking someone somewhere? Not quite sure where. We'll, uh, we'll build a war galley. I've got a granary anyway. Yep, we have that. We'll just toggle that on so that uh, as and when we get any uh, farmers onto those fields, they'll soon uh, replenish them. Alright, so they're building towers over there. That's going well. He's got a couple of towers already, so we probably could do with one more. I do. Right, what do we want him to do? We might as well, uh... Yeah, we'll build, we'll build the wall for now. It just gives that extra layer of protection for the time being, and if you want to build more villages, we can do. Ah, we need a storage pit, then. We need a storage pit. Alright, we've got one up there. Not enough food, yeah, so we do need to... Uh, food's going to be our, our biggest issue, I think. Where have we been attacked? We've been attacked down here. Our tower should have it under control. Why do you guys keep insisting on going there? Fine, you can just mine stone for the time being. need to uh, start thinking about building some uh, some defences here. So we'll build a stable, we'll get some uh, chariots on the go, or some cavalry. Okay, that'll probably do for now. Alright, we're getting someone over there. Just want to see the uh, extent of the map over here. Okay, so we've got one of the uh, outer edges. We'll send him uh, all the way over there. A little bit of exploring. Okay, we should be getting some land soon. What does it get? Cello. Well, kill him. Evil, 
Somers, 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 Alama. Oh, I didn't work, okay. Alare, Alama. Tombi. Somers. Somers. Right, so that's who we need to destroy then, is it? Okay. We can do that. Send him on a little bit of a, uh, what we'll call a, a suicide run. Suicide scout, even. Okay, so that's where the yellows are. First and foremost, we just need to focus on destroying them. So, now that we got into the swing of things a bit, probably with some more villagers. I'll send them up there. We'll break that for now, just so they can get up. And yeah, what we could do with some fishing boats. Sorry about that. 
What's that there? So we've got more stone up there, we've got plenty of gold. Did I build that? Uh... Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, we just need to focus on getting quite a bit of resources at the moment. So we'll, uh, we'll just smash that out down here. No way that they're getting in there, so I don't need to explore down that section too quickly. Now, three bases is a lot to uh, keep track of, isn't it? What's going on over here? Okay. Yeah, once we got that, we'll upgrade the walls. Oh, gone too far. There we are. Getting plenty of wood from there. Where's my market gone? Yeah, I think uh, getting the wood's more important at the moment than uh, doing that up, so we'll just see how we get on. Okay, so we've got some seed weaponry over here. Are there any land bridges? No, no land bridges, so if we did uh, want to attack them, we'd need to send our... Uh... Need to send a transport ship over. Alright, what do we need to build? What do we need to build? We've got a granary, we've got a market. I don't think we've got a government centre anywhere, so we'll build one of those. Help upgrade our uh, military units. I'll send him over there. Right, so we've now got medium walls. We'll go for fortified walls. Get him building gold, building mining gold as well. No gold, no money. Okay, so now the fortified walls have got 480 hit points. Which should be plenty. Still can't upgrade those uh, sentry towers though. Mm. Do we need to do some of this? through those. Spread them out, it's left work for me in the long run. Where can we go, where can we go? It's got to be more uh, fishing uh, areas over here somewhere. There we go. A whale. We'll get the whale. That's what we'll do. We'll put him over there just in case they do decide to... Uh, a little bit crazier. Can't upgrade those towers yet. Mm. Oh, 
Bomb. You know what I need to find out actually, I'm sure I've got a uh, bit of old bump somewhere from when I used to have this, well I've still got it, but having this game on the original uh, PC version of it. I might have the uh, technology uh, tree for the different civilizations. Sage of Empires 3. Stores. Oh, I hope I didn't get rid of that. Oh, it's not with my other game stuff, so that doesn't bode well. I'll have to see if I can get my hands on one of those. Is there any way of seeing the tech partner? Oh, there we go, right. Right, so we want to look at towers. So does that mean that we can't get this, the guard towers and then the blister towers being the Romans? Ah, damn it. That's unfortunate. But, tis what it is. is by far the best of the, uh, the ships to have for attacking towers along the uh, coastal front. So when we're going to start attacking to go up here, that's what we're going to need. Although, what have they got? Guard towers. I reckon a couple of uh, catapults might do the job there. I'm going to get, get three. Four, we'll set the fourth one up. Fourth man gone for that one. Where's he buggered off again? Hmm, not quite sure there. Hello. So we're pretty close, we just need another 500 uh, food and we'll be able to upgrade to the Juggernaut. And you know what though, we should probably, uh, probably start building some of them now. No, 
not enough wood. 700, oh come on guys. So we got those building. Let's see if we can reach it. Oh, hi Stumblestone, how are you doing? You a big fan of uh, Age of Empires, are you? Bit of a daft question based on your last statement, but yeah. Which one, uh, which one do you enjoy playing? Just working my way through the uh, first one at the moment. I bought the uh, Definitive Edition collection uh, a couple of months ago. Um, can't wait to get on to Age 2 though. That is by far my favourite of the series. to destroy Queen Zenobia. each other over here. Come on in. Oh, 
are you too big to fit through that for fuck's sake? So we don't need them anymore. We've got plenty of resources. Alright, let's send them down here to just attack that. And we're building up this uh, siege army. I think we're probably actually going to struggle, aren't we? How many do we need? Mm. We need 15 more slots. We've only got five slots left on our uh, on our queue here. What we don't want to do is destroy that. So, lads, Thomas. over here, please. Thomas. Thomas. Where are we getting attacked? Or something there, I'm not sure. Slowly but surely, chipping away. I'm surprised they're not using their uh, priest to uh, take over my uh, players there. Okay. Mm. Right, 
so I think. Yeah, we might want to deploy up here. You know what, actually? I'll send this ship down here. Have we got any, uh, any army units? We've got one. It's better than none. For that, actually. Yeah, that's what we want. Perfect. We'll do a combination of uh, catapults and hoplites. So I'll take a chance we can get in down here. Great first, didn't we? Yeah, it'd probably make more sense for me to uh, to build that down here. So we did a little bit of damage, we got rid of the first wave of defences. But you know, while we're there as well, we should probably have a couple of uh, juggernauts just to clear the area. Elias Gladius, oh nice name, very uh, fitting in with the game that we're playing. Hi Elias, hope everything's good in Italy. Are you uh, much of an Age of Empires fan?
We got no more uh, catapults coming. What about down here? Sure. I'll do for now. We'll send them up. Cancel that. That's that second wave uh, completely annihilated. All part of the plan, obviously. Ooh, we ran out of gold. Right, where's gold? Oh, we've got some gold there. Gold, 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 where's gold? Berries, berries. Berries, berries, berries. Okay, guys, you, 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 you're like seriously, you're seriously asking for trouble if you're going to keep getting all of the wood from over there when that's our wall.
just want to be able to get my uh, catapults through there without any uh, any issues. Okay. Right, where's this Queen Zenobia then? Where's she lurking? I'm assuming we just need to uh, destroy the actual civilization, not a specific character. That's what I'm going to go with anyway. 15. Bloody hell. Um, Thomas, help them up. Thomas. I don't know why you guys are all so. Thomas. Bloody hell. There's a boat somewhere. There's got to be a boat somewhere. Oh, what a pillock. I sent my boat in there. He got killed. That's all okay. That's all okay. Doesn't matter in the slightest. I'll have this gold though. That's for certain. So gold's going to be an issue, right? So they've got a stable as well. You can swarm them with uh, chariots.
he would have. Right, okay, that's that done. all the way down here, that's how the bush is. There's nothing down there. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's that sorted. Hmm. Yeah, we don't need you anymore either way, mate. Have I got, have I got any boats left? So that's uh, slowly building. So go and take that down. Can't be 
many of them left now. Well, there's got to be almost there. Boom, nicely done. Right. Success! Due to your martial and military prowess as an emperor, you have restored imperial control in the provinces and saved the empire from ruin. The Senate and the people hail your complete victory over the Palmyrans, Alemanni, and Gitai. Although Germanic incursions may continue from time to time, the security of the frontiers has been improved considerably. Prepare for your triumph in the city of Rome, where you will present the defeated Zenobia and parade her through the streets. Okay, what's next? A new and more fearsome group of barbarians, the Huns, Ooh. have been moving west from Central Asia for the past several decades. They are skilled horsemen and are rumored to be nigh invincible. Germanic and Alanic tribes alike flee before them, flooding towards the frontiers of the Empire. The upcoming invasion will be the ultimate test of the strength of the Empire. If you cannot parry their incursions, Rome will be sacked and the Empire overrun. Right, objective. So build up and destroy the Huns. Wait, what? Build up. Oh, okay. I need to build up, comma, and destroy the Huns. Right. Defend the Empire from Vandal, Gothic, and Alanic incursions. So, hints. This scenario plays like a deathmatch. You must quickly muster a large force with which to combat the Huns. Your allies are not very trustworthy and may change their allegiance if they su suspect that the other side is winning. The Huns rely heavily on horse archers. Use scythe chariots and ballista to deal with them. Okay. What time are we at? We're at uh, half ten yet. Yeah, no, we can uh, go for this one. Right, okay. So, first things first. Bombies. Build 
это время. So if they do come in, they're probably going through that channel and we'll cover them. Sorry. Build up an army, don't we? So, oh, shit, I did not know that they were there. Okay, he would cut it. Thousand years, right? Okay. Fine. If that's how you want to play, it, mate. If that's how you want to play. It, fine. Bombers. Thomas. Bombers. How the hell do <sighs> Okay, okay. Oh, 
combo. Who's my enemy? The Huns and the Oranges. Where are the Oranges? Well, they've not got many defences left, to be fair, have they? Okay, stop attacking your own bloody...
that will have to draw them around there. So, well, we've got a pretty good defensive thing, you know. Our enemy is forced to go in this way into our base. So, send him back, see what's going to happen. So that works. Combine that one. You can do that one, you can do that one, and. You can do that one, why not? Okay. We're good, we're good, right, so we'll build up enough catapults to uh, send down here. Hopefully, with a little army of hoplites as well. Hello, 
I'm starting to think a dock might be a better idea. Get in the dock. Fly down to here. Boom. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go for that. We'll go for a dock. doing the job. Okay, so I want two ships. Up them up. Some. Some is. You know what actually? No lads, I want you to go over here. And I want you to get all that pretty gold. Right there. Uh, I want you to build some houses. Oh. Don't particularly think we destroyed them, we just built built up. Okay. So uh, that's the end of that campaign then. Let's have a look at the final summary. Your people breathe a sigh of relief as your armies emerge victorious from the bloody conflict with these formidable invaders. The barbarians that were not killed or captured have fled far from your borders or have been incorporated into your armies as auxiliary forces. One day they may eventually return, but despite numerous apocalyptic predictions, the Roman Empire is secure for the time being. You can now concentrate on planning your campaign against Persia and expanding the borders of the empire to new heights. Hail Caesar! All right, so that's Imperium Romanum done. So, let's have a quick gander. All right, I think that's um, potentially a, a good place to stop. I know it's only been a very, very short stream, but uh, I've uh, been burning the candle at both ends, so I'm a little bit on the tired side, so I think I'm just going to leave it there for tonight. But we will be back tomorrow night with... Um, well, what are we calling it? It's not Warzone Wednesday tomorrow. Now it is a Cold War Wednesday zombie outbreak. Uh, so me and Jimbo are going to be trying out the uh, Cold War zombie mode outbreak, which uh, I've had a little go on last Friday, which is real good fun. Um, but we're going to have a, a bash on that on the multiplayer and uh, see how we get on. So we'll be back uh, at 8 o'clock tomorrow, uh, UK time that is. So be sure to join us if you're uh, fans of Wars. Uh, Call of Duty, um, and then on Thursday we will be back, well I will be back playing Age of Empires, so we'll be jumping on to the next uh, campaign which is Enemies of Rome, um, so that'll be from around 9 o'clock UK time, then Friday, um, we're going to uh, probably play something a little bit different on Friday, we've done Grand Theft Auto a couple of weeks, we've done... Um, Cold War last week, so we might do some Marvel's Avengers maybe, or even get into some of the Star Wars Dark Forces series, which I really want to get my teeth sunk into, because we've got Star Wars Dark Forces, uh, Star Wars um, Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2, Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast, and Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. So that's five games there that's going to take us quite a while, so I think the sooner we start that the better um, so that might be on Friday um, if I can get a lobby going I know I've been saying it for a few weeks now we will be 
doing some Among Us potentially over the weekend. Um, then on Saturday it is back to Doom. Now we're going to, I've made the decision, we're not going to do Doom Zero just yet. We'll wait until uh, we finish to play that one. We're going to do Doom 2 Hell on Earth, which um, I've not actually played any of the Doom 2, I don't think. I think I've, I'm pretty sure, well, I've played all of Ultimate Doom because we completed that, and I'm pretty sure I've played Final Doom back in the day. Uh, but I don't think I've played much of Doom 2, so yeah, that'll be good fun to jump into that for the first time, or at least it'll feel like the first time for us. Um, so that's on Saturday, that'll be around 8, 9 o'clock UK time, and then on Sunday we'll be uh, back with some more Age of Empires. Um, then on Monday uh, next week we'll be doing some Command & Conquer Remastered Collection, and Tuesday, same as today, we'll be back with Age of Empires. We might even do some cheeky Star Wars Galactic Battleground, which is uh, it's basically Age of Empires but with a Star Wars skin, so just to mix it up, um, we might be jumping in that. So uh, thank you to everyone who's uh, been watching. If you haven't already um, followed the channel, please hit the follow button. We're currently trying to get 200 followers before the end of March. Uh, I believe we're at 127 at the moment, so only uh, another 73 to go. So your help's always appreciate on that. Thanks again to JLC Gaming for uh, following us on the uh, stream tonight. Um, thanks to uh, Stumble Stout and Elias Gladius for uh, joining in with the chat. Uh, it's great to speak to you guys. Hope you come back and have another natter sometime soon. Um, but yeah, all in all, thanks guys for watching. I hope you uh, all have a great night or a great day. And I will uh, see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.